Let's look at call waiting and caller ID features of the Polycom phones. Although not necessarily traditional call waiting, while on a call you can receive and answer other incoming calls by selecting the ringing line. On the 335 series phones, you have two lines that you can use. On the 450 series phones, you have three. On the 550 series, you have four. And on the 650 series, you have six. Let's demonstrate an incoming call while we're already on the phone. When you select the new incoming call, as you can see on line two, the previous one will be automatically placed on hold. After terminating the second call, you can select the line that was holding the first call and resume that conversation. Caller ID allows us to see who is calling, similar to what your cell phone displays. This works for internal and external calls on your phone. To expand on the topic of multiple line keys, let's talk about call conferences. Using the Polycom phones, we can create call conferences between two lines on your phone. One of the benefits of these phones is that you can create conferences between calls that you made and calls that you received. It doesn't matter. If you have two line keys in use, you can create a call conference. While two lines are in use, as you can see line 1 and line 2, you can create a conference by selecting the other line using the arrow pad, the one that is on hold, and pushing the join soft button on the 335, or by pressing the more soft button, and then the join soft button on the 450. Down arrow to select the second line, push the join soft button. Once you have them joined into a conference, you can split the conference up by pressing the split soft button or end the call by pressing the end call soft button. If you push the split soft button, the calls will be placed back into line one and two of your phone. Do not disturb is a great feature for when you need to work without any interruptions. When do not disturb is enabled, anyone that calls you will be immediately sent to your voicemail without any ringing on your phone. To enable and disable Do Not Disturb on the 335 series phones, press the Menu Hard button, select Features, and press the Check button in the middle of the arrow pad. Then select Option 2, Do Not Disturb, using the arrow pad, and pressing the Check button once again. Using the left arrow on the arrow pad to return to the main screen, you will now notice your two lines will be flashing a red X instead of displaying a phone. On the 450 series phones, which includes the 550 and 650 series, press the Menu Hard button, select Features by pressing the Check button in the middle of the arrow pad, and then select Option 1, Do Not Disturb, using the arrow pad and pressing the Check button once again. Using the left arrow on the arrow pad to return to the main screen, you will now notice your three lines will be flashing an X instead of displaying a phone. Follow the same instructions to disable Do Not Disturb. For those that have headsets, using them is quite easy. For those that are using the corded Plantronics S11 headsets, instead of pushing the speaker button or lifting the handset, push the headset button on your phone and the call will be transferred to your headset. For those that have the more advanced headsets with lifters, you should be able to still use the lift button on your headset to answer the call. Finally, let's talk about managing the contacts on your phone. Although this is an easy process, it is tedious and time-consuming to type names into the contact. Let's start with getting to the directory first, which on the 335 series phones is as easy as pushing the DIR soft button. On the 450 series phones, which includes the 550 and 650 series, you have to access it by pressing the DIR soft button and selecting the contact directory using the check button in the middle of the arrow pad. To add a new entry on the 335 series phone, select the new entry option and press the check button on the arrow pad. Select the first name field by pressing the check button once again and type in the name similar to how you would text on a cell phone. 
For the letter R, press the 7 key three times. When done typing the name, press the OK soft key. Using the arrow pad, edit the last name and contact fields. The same that you would edit the first name field. The contact field should contain the phone number. Press the OK soft button to save. When you are done editing the contact, push the left arrow key on the arrow pad and select the soft yes button to save that directory entry. On the 450 series phones, which includes the 550 and 650 series, push the add soft button. Just like on the 335 series phones, using the number pad, type in the name similar to how you would text on a cell phone. Three sevens for the letter R, three sixes for the letter O, two twos for the letter B. Be sure to type in a contact number, and then when you're done, click the Save Soft button. Our final topic for today's training is voicemail. We will learn how to configure your voicemail for the first time and how to access your voicemail internally and externally. As you follow the steps below, keep in mind that when recording your unavailable message, you may be required to follow a company standard. Check with your department head or your local HR department. Let's start by configuring your voicemail for the first time. On your Polycom phone, dial star 97 and lift your handset or press your speaker button. Password. When prompted for your password, please enter 1234 and press the pound key. You have no messages. Press 2 to change folders. Press 3 for advanced options. Press 0 for mailbox options. Press star for help or pound to exit. Don't worry, we will be changing your password shortly. Press 0 for mailbox options. Press 1 to record your unavailable message. In our configuration, we use the unavailable voicemail message, which we will record by pressing 1 for unavailable message from within mailbox options. When you are done recording your unavailable message, press the pound key to stop recording. You may review your recorded message by pressing 2 and if you desire, press 3 to re-record your unavailable message. Press 1 to accept the recording and save as your unavailable message. Let's demonstrate recording your unavailable message. Press 1 to record your unavailable message. Press 2 to record after the tone, say your unavailable message, and then press the pound key. This is a test unavailable message. Thank you. Press 1 to accept this recording. Press 2 to listen to it. Press 3 to re-record your message. This is a test unavailable message. Press 1 to accept this recording. Your message has been saved. Next, we will change your name greeting. From within mailbox options, press 3 to record your name. When you are done recording your name greeting, press the pound key to stop recording. You may review your recorded message by pressing 2, and if you desire, press 3 to re-record your name greeting. Press 1 to accept the recording and save your name greeting. Let's demonstrate recording your name greeting. Press 1 to record your unavailable message. Press 2 to record your busy message. Press 3 to record your name. Press after the tone, say your name, and then press the pound key. Aaron Gilbert. Thank you. Press 1 to accept this recording. Press 2 to listen to it. Press... Aaron Gilbert. Press 1 to accept this recording. Press 2 to... Your message has been saved. Finally, we will change your voicemail password. From within mailbox options, press 5 to change your password. When prompted, enter your new password, which must be four digits or longer, and then press the pound key. You will be prompted to enter your new password again. Press the pound key when finished. Your voicemail is now configured. You may hang up your phone. 
Let's demonstrate changing your voicemail password. Press 1 to record your unavailable message. Press 2 to record your busy message. Press 3 to record your name. Press 4 to manage your temporary greeting. Press 5 to change your password. Press star, please enter your new password followed by the pound key. Please re-enter your password followed by the pound key. Your passwords have been changed. If you have a new voicemail waiting, the voicemail indicator light should be flashing. So let's check that voicemail. Internally, you can access your voicemail by dialing star 97 and then lifting your handset, pressing the speaker button, or using your headset. You will be prompted for your voicemail password followed by a pound sign. Password. You have one new message. Externally, you can access your voicemail by dialing your direct line phone number, and when you hear your own voicemail message, press the star key. You will be prompted for your voicemail password followed by a pound sign. Working with voicemail messages is similar to your current voicemail system or your cell phone voicemail. After you have connected to your voicemail, follow the verbal prompts to listen, save, and delete voicemails. This concludes our training. If you have any questions at this time, please direct them to one of the network and telecom team members. Thank you and have a nice day.